Hi there, it's Matt from Health MOT. In this video, I'd just like to tell you a couple of our tips and tricks that we have for making porridge, how we make it uh, taste good, how we make it quick, and if we're in a rush, what we do to be able to box it all up and take it with us, and how we make it when we're on the go. So, follow me. Okay, tip number one is we have these airtight Tupperware type boxes, and that just allows us to store the oats in the box and quickly and easily pour it rather than having it in a bag and it just makes it more fatty if it's in a bag. So if it's there, we can pour it out. Tip number one. Tip number two is knowing portion size. So we've got a handy little electronic measuring scale. We've got a little uh, plastic box, which was just an ice cream box. And using our container, we usually put about 40 to 50 grams per person. So if we go, there we go. Oh, we're just over 50 there. So that's it. And if we look at that, then if you were to put that in the hand, it would probably be an actual handful. So it's a good representation to know that that amount is equivalent and enough for an adult. It's enough for me. I'm a growing big adult. If I've got a child, then we'll probably try and give them a little bit less. And that size is about a handful, so that's good. 40 to 50 grams, tip number two. Tip number three is making porridge a little bit more interesting. So what we do is we add a load of different things and we use these handy little jars. They're old mayonnaise jars, old jam jars, or plastic containers, sealable containers. We've got different kinds of nuts. We've got walnuts, pecans. We've got different kinds of seeds. We've got pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. We've got desiccated coconut, we've got slivered almonds, and we sometimes have dried fruit just a little bit. So we've got some uh, raisins, got, might put some dates in, and we might put apricots, or if we dry some fruit in a, a dehydrator, then we might put any kind of fruit in, just, just a small bit, just to add a little bit of colour and flavouring. And then quite often we'll add cinnamon. So that's tip number three. Okay, tip number four is how to make a really speedy porridge. So we're gonna Turn on our trusted timer and the clock's ticking. We've already put in our 50 grams of porridge, we're doing a portion for me, so that will take a couple of seconds, so that's the 10 seconds on there. And then we want to add the ingredients, so a few raisins, just one by one, add in the seeds and the nuts, a little bit of cinnamon, Coconut, more seeds, a few more nuts. There we go, mixed it all around, and what I'll do that with that now is we'll stop the clock, so I'm 44 seconds, it's taken me less than a minute to get all the ingredients out. These handy jars will be in the cupboard, so I can just take them out of the cupboard, put them on the work surface, and you know, literally within one to two minutes I can get this box of porridge ready. This is a dry mix, and what I want to do with that then is I just box it up, and in the morning, if I've not got time to, to eat breakfast, then I'll take this box to work. In work, all I'll do is get boiling water from the kettle, or at work there's a special tap on the wall with like the box with the, the heated water in there, and I'll just pour boiling water on it, and leave it for say five to ten minutes for the, the, the oats to soak up the water. And you know I could add a dash of milk if I wanted just to mix it in but it, it can be eaten you know, like this just with the water because although porridge with water sometimes a little bit bland and boring if you've got the nuts and the seeds and a little dried fruit in there and uh, the cinnamon then it really is a palatable porridge to eat and it's taking you a couple of minutes to make in the morning and in work it's taking you 10 seconds to pour some water, 10 minutes to leave it just to, to settle and soak up the water and that's your porridge done. So very, very simple and that's uh, trick number four. And trick number five is making it on the hob. Don't like really using a microwave and sometimes in the morning we're in a rush trying to get a uh, little boy ready for school and we're getting ready for work and just generally getting everything ready to get out of the house as quickly as possible uh, but we still want to eat breakfast so if we're having porridge what we can do is Two things, we can put the, the oats to soak in water or milk overnight, just leave it overnight, and when we come back in the morning, 
we just turn on the hob just to heat it up and it really takes about a minute to heat through if it's already soaked through the night. The other alternative is that I, um, in the morning I'll come down, put the oats in the, uh, in the pan, put the milk in there and what I'll do then is I'll leave it on a very low heat, uh, maybe number four, we've got a range of uh, zero to nine on the, the hob. So I'll put it on number four, then I'll go and get a shower and something like that and it'll just warm through and then if it's not ready when I come back after five or ten minutes, then I'll just heat up the, I'll turn up to number nine, let it run through for a couple of, you know, almost two minutes, um, you know, a short amount of time, and it'll come through, boil through, bubble through, and it will be ready to eat. So that's really good tricks for speeding up the, the whole process. And because my wife's uh, not too good with dairy milk, then we'll usually have uh, different types of milk in the house. We might have goat's milk, or we might have uh, almond milk, and we may just make the porridge with water and then we'll separate it out between the two or three of us, if it's for me and my wife, or me and my wife and my son, and then we'll each add our individual milk if we want to add extra milk to that uh, porridge mix. And then of course we'll add the, the cinnamon and the, the dried fruit and the, the seeds and the nuts and whatever else we want to add to give that extra colour and flavour and taste. So those are the tips for porridge. Hope you like porridge, hope you have a go at porridge, and I hope that you prefer to use porridge as a natural whole food rather than using something like cereals that you buy in the supermarket that um, despite their best marketing efforts to say that they contain little sugar and they're healthy for you, they're really not as healthy for you as other alternative whole foods. So give real whole foods a go and uh, try and use these tips for making your porridge.